I got the really strong Scott Pilgrim vibe, vibes off the first first episode. Was that kind of intentional? Or just Very that? much so. Our, our episode one and six directors, Adil and Bilal, are very much inspired by, by Scott Pilgrim and, and that whole Edgar Wright vibe and, and we kind of just wanted to make it really quick and pacey and, and you know accessible for other film lovers. We've, we've got such an incredibly you know charming show and, and has a lot of heart and, and a lot of cool creative moves that we've made and so yeah I'm excited for people to see this. I think there's something for everyone. Yeah it's, it, com it comes across and you come across as being very authentic. Do, do you how much of you is in is in your character? All of it. <laughs> I did not have to act one bit. Just for AvengerCon, they didn't let me see the set. They were like, your reaction in real life is going to be Kamala, so we'll just let you see it on the day. And I'm like, okay. So, yeah, it was, it was very easy for me to kind of become Kamala, and I felt like I lived her life when I read those comics for the first time when I was like 15, and so that just hit really close to home for me, and I hope the show can do for other people what the comics did for me. And did 15-year-old version of you ever think that there'd be a place for you in the MCU? Not at all. You're not even supposed to dream of something like this. My entire bedroom back home is covered in Avengers posters, and now I'm friends with some of them, and, like, it's weird, because now I have, like, an obsession over my friends. And that's... I don't know, just seeing Bree's, Bree's face above my bed is, like, so weird now, because I, like, can literally ha text her and call her whenever I want, and... Yeah, it's weird. Do you know there's a Comic Con going on in London this weekend? Is there? Yeah. Ooh, I wish I could go. I have to. I have to. Yeah. Okay. What do you hope that people who are conventional, maybe more conventional Marvel fans, take away from this when they see this for the first time? I think you have to accept the fact that the show is a love letter to the fans. You know, if you're a Marvel fan, the show is for you. We we really wanted to to kind of appreciate and, and encourage fan culture in a really unique way that kind of elevates Kamala's story and you know she's she's a fan of the Avengers and, and especially Captain Marvel and I think a lot of that appeal comes from the simplicity of a, of a superhero's life they, they fight crime and they look cool doing it and that's all Kamala wants but she has to deal with freaking boys and religion and culture and, and that's so much to handle for a 16 year old so yeah, I, I hope people can find you know a heart in Kamala and, and relate to her on a on a really special level because that fascination is so shared with the audience and Kamala. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, yeah. Is that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.